I live across the street from a house that may take some part in dog training and dog fighting. There were these two men outside. They had a pit bull, one pit bull. We have a possible lead on a dog fight uh, pit bull situation. Hundreds of calls, dozens of investigations, and animals saved from a life of cruelty. We've been able to make eight prosecutions here in Georgia and a ninth one in Tennessee just this year alone. Many of those arrested were major players in the dogfighting world. Their alleged operations shut down. And every one of these investigations started with a call like this. I got some information for you, man. Call me back. It's some bad stuff. The caller is talking to a Humane Society of the United States tip line, funded by an Atlanta-based security company called NORAD and Associates. Obviously, there were 200 calls and initiated about 40 investigations. We've heard just dogs making these terrible cries and yelling. But I confirmed the dogs are being maintained in the way you would see a fighting operation working. With the types of kennels they use, the type of chains they use to chain them up, and look for some of the training tools in the area. If he finds what he's looking for, a full HSUS investigation is launched with the help of local law enforcement. We're on our way to a staging area where law enforcement will gather before initiating one of the three raids. Here we go. Three dog fighting raids in Georgia in one day. That's how successful the tip line can be. The first goal is to try to eradicate dog fighting and the abuse of animals in Georgia. The secondary goal is to spread the word there is somebody who will investigate this. And with a tip line now also open in Florida, the number of investigations is quickly growing. So dog fighters, beware. The Humane Society of the United States is coming for you. We're trying to hit this on every front so that we can finally put this issue to rest and put these people out of business.